Hi, y'all. This is Mev, and you're listening to Codcast Circle of Trust, cleverly disguised as adults. <laughs> Welcome to CockCast. This is episode one, June 3rd, 2008. We're Circle of Trust, a MMORPG guild waiting to fight for the destruction side in Warhammer Online, an RP guild in North America. Today we're going to be talking about Initiate Rollout Plan. All right, before we get into that, um, we are kind of in between games of a guild, so what are you doing to fill your time? Well, since my 360 just went on the fritz... Oh, yeah. I heard a lot of swearing. Yeah. I was in here, and I heard the swearing from in there. The red light, right? Yeah. And the red the, circle. Oh, so that was called the red circle of... The red light of death. Red light. But it wasn't... Red ring of death. But it red wasn't doing that death. same error all the time. So now I'm not sure if I have to pay $100 or not, or if it's free to get fixed. You, you kind of want to... I would like to know if we're paying $100. Well, that. I know. I told them not to charge my card, <laughs> and that I, that was the problem. But they just got it today, so we'll see... If they get that error, what if they Isn't just fix it? it and send it off? I don't know. I don't like that whole. Well, we'll tell you if you owe us hundred dollars. No, 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 no. I mean, we're come play, on. We're gonna look at the play with the numbers. Yeah. And uh, see what shakes out. All right. No, I don't know. I, I'm sure it's legit. Oh um. yeah, I'm sure yeah, it's all it's all top shelf. <laughs> no, um, so I've so I've been trying to I've been playing some other games. I picked up an old game for the PS3. Well, old from fall. That's that's old to me. Um. Lego Star Wars. I've been playing that. I played that. Yeah, that's a cool game. I went on a console. Matt could even play it, our three-year-old. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and you, no, you did good. Oh, um, when I shot you and you died. Yeah, yeah you kept <laughs> you shooting. Yelled at me. You shot me. You, you interpreted shoot the bad guys as shoot me all, just all the time. I, I'm used to MMORPGs. Shoot me at all times. You can't kill your own players in well, there's, MMORPGs. There's friendly fire. I did I, not I, know I, this. I hope to God I never played MMORPG with you where... <laughs> Fire. You can shoot me, <laughs> but that's a cool game. That that that's neat. I like the area effect shooting. That's what you I just like. arc. Yes. Yeah. Um, like light swing that lightsaber. Like I didn't crazy. have a laser. I had the gun. I was I was Leia with the. Of course you were. With the. Yeah. I was Han for a while. Yeah. I want to play the Indiana Jones guy now though. Yeah. Well, the Indiana Jones Lego just came out today, so I'm gonna I want to pick that up eventually. That would be cool. I'd like to play that. I'm gonna wait a while on that one, but yeah, Lego. Because I'm going to finish Lego Star Wars first. All right. I just got that. Okay. And that and I'm that's really cool. I'm through two of the movies. I All think right. they're you can do online co-op on that too. But that's pretty cool. Other than that, I've been playing the demo of um, Battlefield Bad Company on the PS3, and I did the beta for that on the 360 before it broke. Um, I'm glazing over on this one. What was? It's a, is it like a war game? Yeah, it's one of the more yeah. shooty time. Ho ho. I know games. I should like those, but. No, you should not. I don't care. I, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I like the game so far. Um, the controls are a little clunky playing Battlefield on a console, but the Gold Rush mode is Where am I when awesome. I, when you do these things? Hmm? Where am I when, when you're doing this? I don't know. You're out of my peripheral vision, so you don't, I have no you idea don't you're, exist. You're, you're, okay. you're, what, what happened? I don't even know. All right. Um, but it's got a mode that's that's awesome called Gold Rush where it's attack, defend, and it kind of reminds me of a, you know, even playing an MMO in a, in a oh, Battlefield yeah. type. Like how so? Well, you have, when you're defending, you have these different areas that you have to... I got a new, I got a new squeakless chair, but go ahead. Yeah. When you're defending, you have these different areas that you have to protect while the enemies, you know, are coming to plant explosives on them, and I'm, then you have to neutralize, I'm or... I'm thinking, wow, Battleground. Well, yeah, but then I don't have to grind a bunch of gear to go play that. Yeah. I just play. Even okay. though you rank up, it's it's still... Yeah, it's with the okay. It's it's that without hundreds of hours of trying to get gear the to best play. Best gear to do it. Yeah, to be even keel. Exactly. Okay. And it's got different classes, you know. So you have like a class that, that drops healing or more things like that. So that's pretty cool. And I've also been playing um, a PC shooter beta called Combat Arms, which is like this little. I guess well, you're gonna have no idea what I'm talking about here either, but kind of a mix between Counter Strike. And, well, Counter-Strike and nothing. It's kind of where, <laughs> I don't know what else. Is the nothing fun? It, it's do okay. Do you enjoy the nothing? It's okay. Do, do you just sit there and stare at a screen for the nothing part? What, is it, what do you mean by nothing? Um, well, it's kind of like a Counter-Strike, but just adapted a little bit. It's it's a shooter game, team-based shooter, where in Counter-Strike you, 
you earn up credits in each match that you spend after the round's over on upgrades, which this is like that, except it's a little bit different where the upgrades you buy last for several days, where Counter-Strike, it just lasts for that match. As far as I know, I'm not a huge Counter-Strike player. But that's kind of a decent game, and it's going to be free to play. You've done this all this week? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where I, am I? I'm, I'm very hard to direct to one thing. Hold on. So that's a decent game. Um, I, it's free to play, but I don't know what the paying. They're probably gonna have some paying type system, but it's got some. It's got some aiming issues and some other things to fix. But it's in beta. It's a decent game. So that's. It's only in beta. Yeah. Why are you in it? Uh, I don't know. Are you allowed to talk about it? Just yeah, play. I think so. <laughs> yeah. No, I've went and looked. That's on. great. We'll get a reputation for. If I get kicked out of combat arms. <laughs> No, I went on all don't the boards. Don't trust the circle and trust people. They just tell everything. They don't I care didn't about see an NDA when I signed up, and then oh, I went and looked God. up. I searched boards <laughs> and I searched my thing. So, yeah, okay. we'll just fix this in post. If that's a problem. I don't know if it's. I'm not looking into this. We have a post production team, right? No, it's me hitting record and stop. Hmm, that's gonna be rough for you. No, it's not. Yeah. Well. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Yeah. No one. E- yeah. Track. Yeah, what are we talking about? All right, let's talk about some guild stuff because that the whole point of this is guild news. All right, um, so we wanted to send, we're gonna do some grats here. So first off, guards. Oh, oh, yeah, it's guards. Guards. TM. Yeah. Um, hu- huge <laughs> guards to win in and his wife for their little baby girl. There's, yeah. You know, he's posted pictures on She's the on the site. In the no, only in the guild area. That's well, yeah. Because well, so you don't the, want, like, crazy, so the, so pervy the, people. Well, yeah, well, see the it. winners can see it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, SBE2. And SBE2 is Winnin's real-life dad, so yeah. congrats, guards to him to being, you know, a grandfather. All right, um, a little uh, thank you. Big thank you to people for doing the contributions to the forum. The ads, I know, are annoying. I hate the ads, I especially... But now I know where to buy samurai swords and... <laughs> obscure MMOs that I didn't know existed. Uh, I, I love pro boards. I love them. Uh, they do the ads on there when you use up your views. You get 50,000 views per month. That is a high number. I know. I know. And we've been using, we've never used them up until this month. And we've always had like 20,000 extra. We've never even used half. But now. Who's the a, clown hitting refresh? <laughs> you got. No, I, I think we've got like these crazy like 150 guests every 24 hours and i know like two of those are people and the rest are, are those, aliens I, they're the bots Mole the, people. the web crawlers i don't even know what that means but i've That's heard the term just thrown around, space so. lingo out there yeah it's just craziness they're not people i'm sure but they're using up all of our ad free time that we're paying for so i've switched the pro boards of forum over to just using um our site views for when registered members are viewing the site so if you like to lurk, and you're wondering why you're getting all these ads all of a sudden, just simply log in, do login forever, and you can mark in your profile um, as invisible, and that way, you know, you can still lurk, we won't know you're there, um, and and you can view without the ads. I hate the ads. I really wish. Yeah. I really wish we could just keep it, but the stupid web crawlers are just using up everything. A bunch of savages just Darn this savages. Uh, other than that, Huge, a massive compliment, and just, I, I'm so impressed with Maeve. I don't even know if I'm saying her name right, though. Maeve, how, how would you say it? Um, I pronounce it Maeve. So, Maeve. So okay, that's so we're going to go with that. Yeah. Maeve, I love you. Uh, she won, she, she was in two of the spots in the uh, news from the front for the uh, advance on Altdorf from May 22nd in the Herald. She was the gods of war stories, both of them, the Sioban and the... Ash Kale, I'm sure I said those wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's no way you said that right. No, no, but a text. Not. I mean, what are you gonna do? Um, but Read she it, wrote right, both of those no, two. Right, she wrote <laughs> both of the two gods of war that were chosen for that, and I was just really impressed with that because yeah, we got a lot of writers in the guild. We have we have Winnin, and Maeve, amazing. and then check my, out Winnin's short stories and my like, letters to the editor. Yeah. To what? Hmm? <laughs> You're what? I never thought it would happen to me. <laughs> That's how my letter started. But moving on. What? <laughs> hmm? Um, we're going to talk about that <laughs> <laughs> later. Um, we, we have a new destruction motto with our circle of trust, our very, uh, 
are very, how do you say that, um, appropriate, not, not even appropriate for destruction, appropriate, it's very... Well, it helps because I think by nature... It was kind of how are we gonna goody fit? Goody. Yeah, how we yeah we had this goody goody circle image. of trust and yeah we're we're so nice and yeah, how so are we gonna make that fit in the destruction you, you universe? You got me that Tome of Corru Corruption book from uh, from where is it? Here it is, The Black Industries. That book and it's a great book and I made a lot of notes and stuff and jotted it down and I ran it through um, the Only War uh, area that I have access to and uh, and Alluvian from White Flame. Uh, he's also very known on Only War. He's mm -hmm. like the lore master. And he he took my notes and he rewrote it. And he just came up with a really good motto for the guild. It's on the front page now on our homepage. Um, would you like to read it? Absolutely. Oh, awesome. I, I, I can't wait to hear this stellar oh, piece of voice acting. Strap strap in I'm your seats here. <laughs> your seats. Your seats. We are a rare circle of trust. Oh, mm -mm. What? No, start over. Start really sell it. Sell it. Get get into the voice. Okay, hold on. <coughs> oh, then I gotta edit that out. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yeah, you'll fix that in post. We are a rare circle of trust. No, Cop no, no. You're reading. What? I want you to project. Okay. I want I'm you to feel it. We need the movie trailer guy. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Do like in, channel. In a world. Ch yes. Yes. Channel the movie trailer guy and sell it. Okay. We are rare. No, no. Why? <laughs> like a porno That's like guy. That's a creepy guy. How you, how you doing? I've heard that guy call me on the phone. Hey. <laughs> That's, That's how I met you. Um, I'm now I'm nervous. I'm sorry. Do you want do the do? Do you want me to do, like the girl voice? No. Okay, because it's gonna sound lame. I can't right. do a badass girl voice. Okay. Do it. We are a rare circle of trust. Pop with it. Uh, you do it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want no. I want to sit oh. back. I'm gonna listen to this. This is gonna be so good. Oh, you're gonna make fun of me. I'm so glad we're recording. This is gonna be great. <laughs> okay. 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 One, two. We are a rare circle of trust caught within the calamity of war. Our only hope of change lies in the salvation of destruction, by sword and flame, death and rebirth, bound together by fate and our determinate devotion. We seek that which is predestined. I am without speech. Oh, shut up. I did no, the best I could. That's a great, great motto, though. It is. The motto is ac excellent. Don't, but I read it terrible. Just terrible. Terrible. But terrible. Great. Thank you, Alluvian, again. Yeah. That was cool. Fantastic. Okay, next, moving on. No, I'm moving on. Tell me about the Boom comic review, because... Oh, that, uh, that's called a I, setup. Yeah. Yeah. Segway. Yeah. And that's not really a segue. No, it's okay. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. We're, we're new at this. Um, tell me about the Buchanan review because I did not read it. I'm not going to read it. Why not? I'm not going to read it. I want the code. Oh, if you get, are you going to get another code? Like, how does that work? Am, like, you got one code. Yeah, I got one in issue it. one. It's, oh, yeah. it's do, a five issue. Now, if I get another, if you get another no, issue, no. do you get another code? No. Are you I serious? Don't think so. You bought all, how many comics did you buy? I bought one copy of each, of one through five. So you get five comics and so you get one code. Yes, because I wanted to they come out once a month. And I'm I collecting think, codes, don't you know? Well, yeah, you have quite an impressive collection. I, I, the, the cool thing, I want to have the most codes in there uh, with a subpar machine. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Then, I you, and then you'll really be accomplishing I'll, something. Well, I'm not going to get it. No. <laughs> There's seven hundred. No. So no, only one, people. only one code. I got it. I don't even. I don't even know what it's doing on my buddy pass. I mean, uh, on my. Uh, you can get the buddy pass for that. You no, that beta me. association. You got yeah. that from me. I, I lost track of all all writing. my tags, and I don't even have as many as you. But uh, the comic itself, it it's it's a setup. You can tell, you know, it kind of lays out a basic story. I don't want to give anything really away other than it's oh, it centers on a witch hunter which i don't think that's really given too much away they show them on the oh cover. yeah spoiler just do a spoiler alert so like skip skip like no there's seconds. not really a ton to spoil because well, okay well, what do you think of the story is it a good story i think it could be good um oh. it's it's didn't blow you away didn't grab you didn't be like wow this is great it had me interested in the next one so i okay. guess that's all you i mean that's what you can hope for the art is is fantastic on it um, the artwork is great. Can I scan it and use it for SIGs? I, I probably copyright it. 
Yeah. No. Well, so yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so like all my other of things I've done. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, I don't know at this point if, you know, it would be worth it for you to buy that one or, you know, wait until all five are probably in one big book. I don't know. But, uh. That's it. That'd be better. I like Yeah, they always books. do that with those yeah. compilations. Um. But what if it doesn't come out in a big book? What if it's just like a rare, th- what if they don't sell enough and then they're thinking like, oh, it's not that good, we're not going to do a book. I can't live your life for you. Um, I don't know. Tell me, tell me the answer to my th- future. If you haven't already Before ordered it now, I, I don't think that this would, I, I wouldn't, this wouldn't make me tell you to run out and, and order, you know, a copy, but it's a good setup. I mean, it could end up being a really, really good. It's not bad at all. It's a good story. I mean, it's, it could be a great story. There's not a ton of text in it. Not a lot of dialogue. It's, you know, in there's some action at the end of the issue. Um, but it's kind of a slow build up, and it could end up being great. I don't know. But it's a good setup right now. You're really not selling me. I mean, you read a lot of I comics. don't work for them. Yeah. No, I don't want you to work for them. I want you to tell me what you think. I think you, it's... you read a lot of comics. You've read a lot of comics in your life. What yeah. is your opinion as an It's int- a good start. You've... Good okay. start. Good setup. For... Right. Yeah. All right. It's definitely a browse, at least. That's how they... Browser yeah. by? That yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely at that. least a browse. Gotcha. So, I don't know. It could be great. I'll wait for issue two. Maybe I can do that in a future podcast and let you know if it's looking like it's going to be something that you want to maybe try to get a hold of if you're into comics. All right. Any uh, war news as it pertains to... There's lots of war news because my newsletter came out and all that stuff. Uh, lots of people are covering all that stuff already, so... Get on the forums, get on the podcasts, check them out. Uh, but as it pertains to the guild, everyone's asking me, "What's up with guild beta?" Because we we have a we have one a guild beta slot. However, we're, we don't have any news on that. Uh, but the, kind of it doesn't really matter because if we were in if we actually had news and we were in guild beta, I couldn't tell you anything anyway because it's the NDA. So right. Um, yeah. Th- th- really, we'll have no guild news anyway until the NBA drops or game release, whichever. Well, we'll be able to tell people we're in guild beta. I mean, that's and, and that'll be all we say. We are in. I know, but that'll be cool beta. for people to. Well, that'll be cool for me. Right, and I think that'll be <laughs> even people who aren't going to be in guild beta right away. It'll be cool, and you never know. I mean, they, everyone might be in at the same time in an open beta, so who knows? Yeah, who knows? So no news. I know. It seems like it's all going to come up real quick, though, doesn't it? Yeah, I bet it'll be something it's like, like bam, 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 bam. Yeah, yeah it's like it's going to come up. Like, we've been waiting, 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 and it's gonna just going to go bam, 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 bam. Because, well, I mean, even with the fall release that they're saying, I mean, even if they push it to, like, December, which technically fall, December 21st, yeah, um, it's still going to have to come out pretty quick. Like, all the rollouts of the... Betas that they're doing. Well, yeah, those all the phases they're talking about. Yeah, you know, you would think they would kind gonna of be an stagger. Open beta. You would think they would and plus stagger. Plus the head them, start. But yeah, Cause, well, the head start they have to stagger. I mean, that's that's release, pre-release, yeah, well, head, and then yeah. after open beta. But head starts are right at release, so. No, head starts pre before release. I know, I know, oh. but it's not long. I mean, it's not it's not like we're talking about. It's going to have to be soon. Be. Um, and some of the other ones, it's been like three days. City of Heroes was three days. Yeah. Um, and we did that. And I think Age of Conan, I, I, I didn't do that. I didn't buy there the game. There was a lot so. of, yeah, there was a lot of. So I think that had a, that a couple day head start. But yeah, it's not usually longer than like three days from the ones that I've I want seen. a week. But that's because I'm a casual gamer. And I may not have time within those three days. Yeah. You know, so. Well, I think as, as I think even three days is decent because it's, it basi- it's basically giving you a chance to get in, get the name you want. Yeah. Get your guild going. And, yeah. you know, that, I think that's really the point. That's Maybe move out of the first level area, but, move out of the first but people area are gonna, days. people are, are, there's no way I'm gonna stay ahead of people. No Just way. the way that I, I, the time I get to play and my play style, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing a head start to like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, rush up to 50 and I'm not gonna have to deal with no, a ton of people. I kinda want the head start, 40, I mean, I mean, I kinda wanna do the head start just because of the lower population on the server at the time, and yeah, like you said, to get the name and the guild going, hopefully. Yeah, that's, that time. that's all I would. That way when release hits and we get our people in there, which kind of brings us to our whole topic. Wow. The initiate rollout. Did you like that? That was so smooth. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not really, but okay. Um, our initiate rollout wasn't a big deal until we've kind of gotten a few people interested in the guild lately. 
and we've got quite a few returning people. So obviously, people who are returning Circle of Trust members, if you've been in Circle of Trust and went through the initiate program, you're good. You are your Circle of Trust, you know, for life, unless you uh, unless like, you screwed up. We're like the NWO. We are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> are you? You have to be Scott Hall because he's greasy. No, I'm big sexy. I don't. No. He, Oh, no, that's Kevin Nash. Yeah, that's Kevin. I'll Kevin be Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash went to my high school. I want to be Kevin Nash. You can be. That's a you, fun he, he fact. He did go to your yeah, high school. That, and no one cares, even here. So, no, yeah. he doesn't No care. one of you care either. Not yeah. you care, so. <laughs> so, yeah, if you've been in Circle of Trust and you went through that, you're in. Now, the next phase of the initiate rollout thing is aim to misbehave. They've been patiently, patiently waiting for, like, two years. Yeah, it, like almost a year and a half. Yeah, that's kind of. I mean, they to me they seem. I mean, they are. They're already in the guild. Yeah. It seems to me. Yeah, it oh. seems to me. So just a formality. After that, we're gonna start doing some of the other folks that have really. They just seem like they're circular trust already as well. Um, Neff, Pick, yeah. Rackus, well, Ty, Veluk. Yeah. I mean, he was in Secrets of Truth in Dark Age of Camelot in our alliance. And yeah. Yeah, we've been playing with Veliuk for ever, and, yeah, and he's he's years. out of our he's our league. He's way. Yeah, he's I, too good for us. He is. <laughs> he really is. And, You're slumming. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank God for Veliuk. Um, after that, we're gonna do some uh, Odalis. Odalis actually, though, he's he's been on the board for a while now, and mm-hmm. then we're getting in some of the newer folks, and we're gonna take those in groups of three and see how it goes. We usually do groups of two, but I really right. want to get people in. I want to invite everyone. I know this has been, like, a question that actually came up, like, how does it work? When am I going to get invited? Yeah. Sure. Um, we're actually going to do the initiate role in groups. So your initiate phase won't begin until your group starts as uh, as it's listed on our forum. But you'll be invited to the guild as soon as there's a guild. As soon as yeah, we get charter. So you're not going to have to wait charter- outside and no, watch our, no. our cape flap around you. Yes. We'll just come and run around you and let it flap. <laughs> Mock and you. And say T. Yeah, how horrible would that? Like, you want to be in this guild. You want to start gaming and getting to know that. I mean, because it's our trial for as well. Yeah. Well, it's a chance for them to even see if they want to be, you know, part yeah. of us and, uh, you know, uh, likewise, so. And I, I can't see me, you know, wait outside while we get going. It just seems silly. Yeah. Uh, even, even with that, though, we are getting a little... We're going a little full for our for the number I like to have the guild at, just so that it's a manageable. Because we're a small, casual guild. At a certain point, you're not small anymore. Yeah. And we're we're to me. I mean, I don't know. I, it's I'm hard sure, to like, tell I'm sure how things will shake out because I think different opinions on yeah, small. And some people, even people who um, who are in circle of trust, you know, they may not end up liking the game. So I mean, you never know what your final kind of stable number true. is going to be. That's true. And, you know, in, in, in WoW, we got really... We got big at one yeah. point. We were up to, like, 64 people, which, which is, is big is for us, big. which I know sounds really no, was, ridiculous to other people, yeah, small. It but big. it's big to us. And We couldn't keep everyone happy. We're not no. a guild that well, likes and we, to keep and, everyone happy. And that, that was a bad situation because we... We just had a baby. We weren't happy with... with yeah, we, you know, we had a baby. We weren't happy with the game. Yeah. And it that, was not what they said it was going to be. Remember, no. there's supposed to be all those contested areas and everything. It sounded a lot like RBR and, like... I remember the quote, uh, yeah, it's got it war in the name, so there's going to be war. And, yeah, that... that war is in the name. Yeah, and that, and that game, I think, tend to lend to, since it was so gear-driven and there, you know, wasn't this world dynamic of PvP that people wanted to, you know... Came, either got bored or wanted to test out different servers, different classes, we different skipped rule too. set. Yeah, and I, you know, and yeah, and I played on three or four different servers. We played on Silverhand, Emerald Dream, Lightning Hoof, and then on Silverhand we went from yeah, we even we erased killed our characters and went and from, went to Horde yeah, then at that because point, just I mean to just, try something different because you know you maybe like the world and it's fun to explore, but you know for someone like me who played Dark Ages a lot, that you know I missed the. Yeah. meaningful PvP, and yeah. I think a lot. I think that's maybe what happened to a lot. You know, a lot of people. Yeah, that there was. I mean, I, I really didn't get into EverQuest too much. So Dark Age Camelot, like PVE to me, like being my first love uh, in terms of MMORPGs, um, PVE is just a, a means to an end. 
Yeah, so it's, something to get through, and yeah, hopefully it's fun. Yeah, it's fun. I enjoy it. You know, if, you if you're with the up, right people, though. And but yeah, you're you're trying to get to something that means something to your community, and that's something else that you know. It personally, yeah. the yeah, I mean, a community on Guinevere on Dark Age meant something, and because you were, you know, you were talking about. I you would know, never have skipped Sirs. Um, yeah, Dark Age of Camelot. Like the only reason why we went to we left Guinevere and went to Classic was just because of. Everybody was gone. Well, yeah, there's no one left you know, except for Wubby. Wubby, Wubby, yeah. Wubby still came. Fort. Oh, we should have grabbed Wubby. Oh, that's Grats right. Wubby. Grats Wubby for Realm Rank 10. 10. Which, if Six for, million whoever, Realm whoever points. Whoever doesn't play, never played Dark Age, that's the top Realm Rank you can get for. Is it so still? Really? It, well, I don't know if it is anymore, but when we, I was playing. It was. It's Yeah, it's the top PvP Realm versus Realm Rank you can get. And he's a scout, and he's doing it basically solo yeah like, there's yeah, no he, don't he, get invited to groups he is so lot. stubborn he will not leave circle of trust like he hasn't yet i mean at, at this broadcast watch well, he'll leave tomorrow and i'll be like and i'm gonna blame you uh-huh. yeah <laughs> but yeah he loves us thank god and hopefully i can drag him to war with us because i we need someone who can kick ass yeah thank you <laughs> um but yeah that i mean the whole sense of community on guinevere that because you were, you know, t- you were talking about common enemies and, and you know, everybody, there was a lot of people who knew each other. And, you know, in any of the servers on WoW, I at least never felt that. And, no. I mean, cause you didn't have that dynamic against the Horde or Alliance. It was just kind I of... I remember time. Your, your community was, from my perspective, was who you knew so you could raid with. And, I mean, for somebody who's really into PvE, that's great. I, I had no idea who the enemies were in WoW. I didn't care. Nothing. Yeah. But in... Yeah, I mean, I remember times in Dark Age Camelot and being out in RBR and, and people literally, holy shit, so-and-so's out, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, and everyone people like, that you knew. Oh, crap, and, and yeah. you run into their group and just get destroyed and you, you know, Oh, realize. you could have the massive group and, yeah. like, four or five of these guys would just destroy the yeah. whole thing, the whole Zerg. So, yeah, that would mean that was... Definitely missing in a lot of the community, at least to me. Some people might have been there, but to me... Yeah, no, well, actually, we never really played it to the end, so... No. Maybe it is there. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it really should have kept me involved, shouldn't it? Is yeah. it that great? should have kept me involved until the end. <laughs> um, we're way off topic now. Uh, any new... After, pretty much after this, like, after right now... I think any new interested initiates, though, will have to wait until after release. Because we don't, we're not going to have time. We've got, like, so many rollouts, like, so many groups going. They're not going to get through in the open beta, even. Yeah. I mean, how long do you think open beta? I'm, that's all, you know. Yeah, irresponsible guessing. speculation. Yeah. Which I is love fun. the irresponsible yeah. speculation. But. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, I we'll know. have to see how things go. We've got, I think, a good group now, and I mean, again, it's just you know who's gonna like the game, who's gonna who's gonna stick with it, and how are things gonna shake out? You don't know, but wait and see. To the initiates uh, that are trying to join Circle of Trust um, or testing out Circle of Trust, it's our initiate too to them. Um, I just want to say, be patient. We we will have to extend initiations beyond what we normally do. Usually it's two weeks, two to six weeks, depending upon things. We will have to extend and have nothing to do with you. The chaos of starting a new MMORPG is nuts. And we're going to have to, like, see how it goes. We're going to have to be flexible. You're going to have to be flexible. If, and But again, I mean, you're in you're the gonna guild. You're going to be in the guild. So, so it's not, the, you just won't raise up to member status right away. And, and just, we don't even... It, it will have nothing to do with you personally. Yeah, and, and but... You just have to keep in mind that it's probably not going to affect you in the game. No. You, you mean, you're going to keep playing the way you're playing. Yep. Um, I don't even think in Dark Age we had different... Do we maybe have, like, cloak? Um, you I couldn't wear the cloak until you remember. You couldn't wear the cloak until you remember. But we don't even know how that's going to work in war. Yeah. At least people, you know, I, I, also, not in beta, we don't know. No, no. So, it may, it may not even affect you, because you're going to be the The one the thing I can say is if I know someone's not going to make it, if I know someone's totally out of it, like, just not meshing up with the guild. We'll let them know. Yes, right immediately. Away. We're not going to waste their time. I'm not going to... Until you're, uh... I'm not going to string you along for, like, six weeks and then be like, no, it's not going to work out. We'll take you out back and shoot you. Yeah. Just let it go. Put you out of your misery. No, I, I'm, I firmly believe every... We're not the right guild for everyone. 
No, and we're if we're not, not and if we're not, I mean, we're you deserve to know so you can go people, so. find someone. And there's probably, usually in that situation, the feelings are likewise, too. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it's just not it's a good fit. friends, and... Yeah, and then we'll run into each other at the movies, it'll be and it'll awkward. be awkward. You'll be with your new guild. Yeah, and, and, look uh, at, and then all gussied up, <laughs> and we'll be with our guild. And, and we'll, we'll be... We'll, we'll have hot sex that night, though. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do the popcorn with, with our the, new with guild, the whole with our new initiates, and you with your yeah. new guild. But, you, but yeah, never mind. <laughs> what? Let's just stop this. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Hot. So, so I think we covered initiate rollout. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? No, nah, I think that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're not good at this. <laughs> oh, we got to get more people involved in this next time. Yeah. Uh, Rass and Thrakus have wrestled them into doing it, so hopefully. They'll actually show up for a recording. Yeah, so hopefully we didn't put you to sleep. Well, I'm sure we did. No one, yeah. They, 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 Wake they, up! This is in the recycling bin by now. You gotta go to work. This is in their guard, the trash. They trashed it. Delete! Maybe we can give them subliminal messages while they're sleeping. Like, you should wet the bed. <laughs> I'm, I'm editing that out. Why? <laughs> why, would you, why would you do that? Okay, that's about it for the first... Real, real show. The first one was an intro cast. This is our first real show. So please send any feedback to our email address at circleoftrust.guild at gmail.com. Check the website at www.circleoftrust.org. And this has been Cockcast, the podcast for Circle of Trust. <laughs> <laughs>